$800,000 construction project begins today. And that's uh, right. And while it is not the only project, it is shaping up to hopefully be one of the shortest. Rebecca Brumfield has tonight's top story. She's live on 7th Street with details. Rebecca? Michelle and Tom, it's a common sight to see barricades like these blocking us from our destinations. This one, however, won't take too much time, but that's only if everything goes according to plan. Just underneath the asphalt on 7th Street, stretching from Washington to Poplar, lies a history. This is one of the sections where the old interurban rail system ran years ago. They say time heals all wounds, except when those wounds are made of wood. When they removed it, the railroad ties are still down there and they're starting to rot away and that's what's causing the rough, the roughness of the pavement. For Lou Ann Pilkington, a Terre Haute resident, after the day she's had, this construction is just one last thing she doesn't want to worry about. And now I gotta fight to try to get all the way back to the other side of Terre Haute to get it home. That's it. She says she often walks on the roads, even though she is disabled, because she says oftentimes it's safer than her other option. I'm on a mobile device, but I can't even ride in a mobile device in safety and on the sidewalks. Half of these uh, newer streets, too, they got it so steep where it almost flips our chairs backwards on us. If everything goes to plan, this $850,000 project should be completed before we gear up for Halloween. It's a short project. I mean, we're only looking at a 60-day job, so, I mean, it'll be done before the rainy season hits. Now, you may see staggered construction barricades throughout the process of this con construction. However, I urge you do not go through that staggered barricade. That is for construction crews only to get in and out of the construction zone. So if you do see that, I urge you not to go through there as a driver. However, you can use the posted detours, which are on 8th and 9th Street going north and south. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks, Rebecca, for that report. Well, the city has received matching dollars for the $800,000 project. Officials say there's a lot of material to dig up and haul off, so they ask that you use caution.